Okay, I wanted to bring attention to um, two little tiny schnauzer girls that came in from the border. I don't mean to start the year off with a negative, but I, I really want you guys to see what kind of stuff goes on all over the place. First of all, look at the condition of these little girls. They're um, five to six years old. Both of them are practically bald, eaten up with sarcoptic mange, which is a ferociously itchy um, condition. It's real easy to get rid of. Uh, but <laughs> nonetheless, these dogs for the past probably five or six years had to endure nothing but neglect. Now, what's got me so mad, um, first of all, you can see they've got little duck tails. So they're purebred schnauzer. So either somebody bought these dogs or they bred them. I was reading the intake paper and look what it says. Uh, they surrendered for adoption due to the health of the animal. But you did this. You did this, whoever you are. You are the one that got these dogs. You had no business getting dogs. Kept them for five or six years and neglected them to the point that I, what I'm seeing right here, they're bald. One's got heartworm. And then you're stupid enough to take them to a high kill shelter and tell them that they're not healthy. You're not even smart enough to say you found them running around the street. Now, I usually joke around and say these types of people should get a goldfish instead of a dog, but in this circumstance, who would even, you know, uh, recommend a goldfish to these morons? They probably wouldn't even know better to put a little bit of uh, fish food in the bowl. Stupid. So, anyway, you know, these are the types of people that if they had an address on that intake form, I would love to go down there and as soon as they open the door, punch them right between the eyes and kick them in the shins. Oh, sorry, but you know, people like this are stupid. It's, it's lack of education down by the border um, that causes this. Look at these dogs. They, they are so itchy from this stuff. You know, how long have they had to live like this? Shame, shame, shame on you people. And, and let's all hope that this idiot who did this is not down at the city pound getting a healthy animal that he can plop in the backyard and neglect for another five or six years. It's too bad our city shelters didn't slap a, a pair of handcuffs on them and say, you know, mm, sorry, you, you owner surrendered dogs in this condition. They've had no medical uh, treatment whatsoever. You're going to jail. Anyway, rant's over, but um, ha, happy 2015. Let's hope we see less and less and less of this as the years go by. I, I hope one day never to have to see dogs in this condition again.